Hey everyone, this is Ismail from Reviewer Group. In today's video, I will be talking about this little family. It's a line based fill region family or retail item family. Um, we faced a little problem with the previous one we had with BT7, BT8, and BT9 colors. So we decided to create a new one. So in today's video, I'll be talking about the steps of creating this. Um, this is a line based family, as I said. And um, let's just directly go to the steps of creating it. So I file new and then family, go to English Imperial one, of course, and then go to detail uh, item. So we have uh, two things, detail item normal one, which is non, not line based one, uh, which is simply means you are not going to, to have the property of, of extending this line or uh, shorten it. Uh, in the line one, of course, you will have it. So open a new one. Uh, when you open it, you will have some reference planes from Revit directly, and they are locked and bent into um, this point. And you will have this parameter. You will not, which is which is uh, something default. You will not be able to to change it, okay, or to delete it, as you see. So. Uh, and you will have, of course, this uh, another reference plane, which is the right one. Uh, which means if you created something in here and you uh, extend this line, it's going to extend with it, which is uh, the, the, the idea behind actually the line based families. So going to create, since we, we do have a filled region one, so I will click on it and then click on this rectangle select any point in here and make sure that you will just uh, pick or just uh, highlight uh, or touch this reference a blame and again directly lock it while you are in here and say okay now just to try it if you just extend this line you will be able to see the difference which which means uh, until now your steps are are, uh, are correct and uh, we will be testing our family uh, in each step we, we, we do. So uh, before that, I will double click again on it in order to, to give it another parameter. So we, since we do have this length parameter, I will give it another one. Uh, I will click on DI for the uh, dimension and then click on, uh, let's click first in here and click anywhere, click equal in order to equal this space. And again, click on DI or click another dimension. And now select this dimension from here, create parameter, make it type parameter. It's okay. And score it width and say it's a uh, dimension one, say okay. And now say okay again. So go to this family type. Let's make it six inches and say apply make it one and say apply it's good it's working so select your filled region again and make sure that it's just uh, let's say solid solid field so we do have this little little black color now I will go to edit type click on duplicate I will call it uh, PT, for example, if, you, if you're going to say or create the same one, PT1, and say OK. Create another one, PT2, and create another one, make it PT3, and say OK. OK again. So now, if you click on this one and open it, you will have three types. So I will click on PT1. In, in order to make sure that BT1 is a black color. And now I will just select it and copy it, paste, align to select to the same place. Now we do have two copies. While I'm selecting or while this family, the second one is selected, I will just open this one and make it BT2. So now if I, let's just, uh, select it go to edit type let's give it another color maybe okay this one say apply before that let's let's just add it 
and say okay click on this one add it again so we will have the background and foreground the same just put this one make sure that this is solid one and say apply okay if you click on this blue one and click on edge edge you will have the black one which means that's our our work until now uh, is correct we do have bt1 at the, uh, at the background and click on hr in order to finish this move which is the the temporary height mode hr so uh, select the second one make sure that it's bt2 again the same step copy paste Copy, paste, align to the same place, and make sure that it's, it is BT3. Now, select, change the color, with this color maybe, and just add it, say yes, select it, yes, yes. So we do have now three colors. This is the first one, HH, this is the second one, this is the third one. Let's even uh, change the black one. Let's put it another one. Maybe this. Let's say okay for now. And now HR. Now just select the, the first one which is BT3. While you are in visibility, click on this little rectangle one. Associate family parameters. So you do have nothing in here. You can either create the new parameter from here and create new parameter in here or create them in this family type dialog. You can create it from here. So let's just call it uh, BT1 again and say okay. But before that, what this is a mistake I did. Before that, I let's edit. Now I, I, I just put it as a dimension one. This is not correct. I want it to be as a yes or no uh, parameter, actually. Uh, this is the other one. Let me see. Okay, let me just delete it first. Delete this one. Say yes. Create a new parameter. I want it to be yes or no. Common one. Yes or no. And other. And say this is BT1. Say okay. Again, BT2, the same thing, yes or no, and say OK, and create the last one, which is uh, BT3, and yes or no. The same idea if you, let's just create that third one from there, say apply, say OK, select this one and go to this dialog. And create. You can see now BT1 and BT2. So create it. Create the th the last one, B, D3, and say okay. So the BT3 is going to be with BT3 in here, and say okay. So hide it. BT2 is going to be with BT2. Say okay. And BT3 is BT1 going to be with BT1. So, this is uh, the first thing. Let's open a new project. And load this family into it. Let's finish this mode. And load this one into project 3. I think its name is project 3, yes. And say yes. No, this is not the project. This one is project one, so let's go back. Project one. Say so, okay. So now we do have this family. Okay, so I created it, uh, or I just draw a line. Now in here, I will just create, edit. First of all, rename this one. This is not family two. Let's call it BT one. And say okay, and duplicate BT two, and duplicate BT. Three and say yes. So from this one, create a copy CC for copy. Three copies now we do have. So this is gonna be BT1. So I will just go and select as BT1. 
this is going to be BT2, and this is going to be BT3. So from BT1, I will go to edit type, go down, scroll down, you will find the visibility parameters. Uncheck BT2 and BT3 and say apply, say OK. Go to the second one, edit, uncheck the BT3, BT1. And for the, one, the last one, just make sure that you will uncheck the first two, say apply. In this way, I will create CS. While before creating it, I will just select the type I want. I want BT1. I will be able to create it. Select the second one, BT2. Be able to create it. And the last one, BT3. Uh, you cannot trim, actually. You could. But like it's not a, a perfect one. That's why you will have to align them, maybe. Let's align this with that and this with that so that's how you are gonna have a, a perfect trim so this is this was it for today if you do have a better option a better idea better solution for this little issue please share it i will really be happy to to, to hear from you guys thank you so much